Hey guys, how's it going? It's a snowy day over here and it's got me in the mood to write some chill lo-fi hip hop. So today I thought it would be cool to give you a quick behind the scenes look at how I produce my hip hop tracks. Uh, but before I do, I just wanna give a huge shout out to everyone who purchased the hybrid orchestral trailer course. Uh, I was totally blown away by the level of interest in the course and a lot of you guys reached out to me uh, personally to let me know how much you enjoyed it. And uh, I gotta say, it just made me really, really happy to you know finally put it out there and all the positive support and feedback from you guys has got me super Super energized and I'm already working on the next one. If you're new to this channel, feel free to check out the Production Music Academy. Uh, the hybrid trailer course is on sale right now. It will be for the rest of the month and uh, I'll put the link for that below. Um, lots of great content on the way there. And of course, uh, this video is brought to you by productionmusictools.com, uh, which was just launched last week. And I, I got a ton of great products on the way uh, there as well. Uh, I've already sold actually a few of the, the MIDI packs that are available on the site. Uh, so life is real good. I'm stoked about that. Okay, let's get back into the hip hop. Let me show you how I create really tasty lo-fi hip hop loops from scratch. Let's get into it. So some days I'm feeling piano, other days I'm feeling guitar. Today we can do a bit of both. Um, you know, before anything happens, I usually uh, load up like a reference drum beat to work with. Uh, I pulled this out of splice here. This is just a you know, simple beat. And it's just, you know, something to record to so I can get a little swing happening. Sounded pretty dope. I got it going through a, a bunch of effects, which I'll talk about in a minute. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to come up with like a really simple two, uh, two chord progression. And uh, we'll keep it simple because I'm not much of a piano player. Something lighthearted, you know? Let's see what we can come up with here. So I got a few other pianos here that I'm gonna I'm gonna use just to kind of round out the sound a little bit. They're all going through the same bus, and on that bus is like some some compression, some EQ, and I got my uh, RC20 loaded up here as well, giving it that old school uh, vintage vibe. So I'll play something similar on this other piano here. See if we can kind of just thicken up the sound a bit. Okay, I got another piano loaded up. I'm gonna add a bit of melodic uh, interest on the top here, and I've got it going through uh, the old movement plugin as well, which is sort of like, you know, giving it a bit of delay and, uh, and auto panning it a bit. It sounds kind of trippy. Let's see what we can do here. All right, I got my Stratocaster ready to go here, and I got this guitar rig patch loaded up, just so you guys know which one I'm using. It's the Tremolo Twang. It sounds like this. Really funky. Let's see if we can add a little bit of funk to this, this uh, loop we got going on here. Here we go. Okay, cool, that'll work. All right, so we got a pretty badass loop going on here. Haven't quantized anything. It's feeling pretty loose, which is nice. And I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of master it. Like it's like it's a normal track. So um, let's, let's take this drum loop out of the equation and I'll just throw a uh, compressor on this stereo out. Just gonna do some adjustments on this, uh, this Waves SSL compressor. Throw a bit of EQ on here just to dip out some of these gnarly low mids here. I'm going to throw some Ozone 9 here on it just to spread out the stereo image here a little bit more. Okay, that sounds about right. I'm gonna bounce this down. Okay, so the loop that we've bounced down, I've now imported it into Machine and I've sliced it up and now we can kind of give it that like, that sort of chopped up hip hop sound, right? Okay, I'm gonna record an entirely new pattern from this loop uh, using the pads from my machine. Here we go. Let's
let's take that MIDI performance right from Machine and import it into Logic. Okay, so I got a new pattern. I like it, uh, and I can just quickly, you know, start building up um, around it using some of the other uh, patches that I got loaded up in this hip hop template. So let's see if we can kind of build a beat around this new loop. Maybe add in some bass. Maybe add some vocal shots or something like that. Some trippy piano from Omnisphere. We'll throw a little uh, percussion loop in the mix here from Splice. Just to add a bit of texture. Perfect. Yeah, that's pretty much basically, you know, how I build hip hop tracks, just uh, finding a loop for inspiration and then working around it. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed that. And I guess I'm gonna stick to uh, the hip hop theme this week and because next video is gonna be a hip hop review video. Uh, a lot of you guys have been sending me your tracks on uh, on Discord. Speaking of which, uh, please feel free to join my Discord server uh, if you want to chat with other like-minded uh, composers and producers. Uh, it's also a great place to you know just get some feedback on your tracks, uh, but also uh, some insight into the music licensing biz. So as always, uh, you can also find me on Patreon if you need more uh, thorough and detailed feedback on your tracks as well as access to full composing, mixing, and mastering videos. All right, that's enough from me for today. Uh, so I'm sending lots of love out to all of you. And so yeah, take care and uh, stay healthy and I will see you in the next video. Peace.